What's up, everybody? It's Camille Dame, your online Ableton certified motivator, back with another dive in life. And today I've got three essential drop tricks uh, for you to upgrade those drops of yours. Um, a drop's very important. Uh, you know, everybody in the club wants to feel it. And I've got three really interesting tricks. So let's check it out. Um, we have Ableton here. So there is a track that I'm working on with my best friend, Ari, and uh, it's gonna be released on a really cool label later this year, end of 2020. Uh, hopefully 2021 is gonna be better, but I'm happy I'm gonna release um, this track together with my friend. And it sounds like this, and check out the break. <laughs> So as you hear, you know, in the break, and it's also like a sort of a trick, um, we have lots of like uh, swirling pads and long sounds. And when the drop hits, these sounds stop and we we have the beat and everybody's, everything is more sort of like staccato, like really powerful. So longer sounds usually make the, the track a bit draggy, a bit slower. And in the break, you can make it super draggy with long sounds. And then when the, when the drop comes, you take these all away and you're full on. Uh, but there are three more cool tricks that you can use. And let's start with the first one. If I zoom in here, uh, we have the master channel here, and this is all gonna be on the master. So I take a utility and I drag it on the master. And with the utility, you can control volume, you can control the width, you can do all kinds of cool stuff, you know? Um, so let's take the gain, and in this break, we take the pencil, or the pencil, as you say, but they have it under the B, so I call it the pencil. You can uh, make one mark here, and then you go to the beginning of the break, which is here, take away those dots, so it actually goes down like this. Now, how much do you want to take away? Uh, I've been doing this for years and I really noticed the difference in the club. So I take like sort of 3 dB. It's hard to get there. So these days with Ableton Live 10, you can right click the dot and say edit value, say minus 3 dB. There you go. Now I'm on minus 3 dB on the volume in the break. So uh, I usually zoom in a bit more, hold my command so I can move it in between and then zoom a bit more. So just before the break, actually, this 3dB gets put back in the music. So it's kind of sneaky because at the beginning of the break, I start and it just goes down. You can curve it if you wish. I usually keep it straight. Uh, but this 3dB, trust me, in the club works like crazy. 3dB of, of gain in a club, if it's like 103dB loud in a club and you take it back to 100 and then when it's 103 again, that's quite a big difference. The louder it gets, the more you feel this pressure. So yeah, lots of DJs use this technique on their faders. You know, they take down the, the volume faders a bit without you noticing, really taking out 3, maybe 4dB and then when the beat drops, they, they put it back in and... If you do it slowly, people don't even notice it's getting softer, but they do notice the drop. So let's check out what happens. Nice, really cool. And there's, you can combine this with another trick. You know, you can say, you know what, I'm gonna take this auto filter, which is already on there, but we can go to the auto filter and take the frequency, because the frequency is not being um, controlled. It just turns on uh, in the breaks. Therefore, I make these uh, kicks wide so I can see there's a break. And what we can do is take our band cell again and take it up just a few hertz. So during the break, we also take way more low end out of it. So, so you know, in the instead of like this, it's it's becoming this, and I can curve this. So in the end, it goes way more up. So let's see what that does. So because you're taking away more low end, when this low end comes in with the volume, you get an extra, extra pressure on the, on the dance floor, which is great. And then for the last trick, number three, uh, this is one that I actually um, 
uh, picked up at Dance Fair. Uh, that's uh, an event that I once uh, started with uh, with a good friend of mine who uh, unfortunately passed away recently, which is uh, not a nice story for this tutorial, but uh, the man leaves a legacy called Dance Fair. And um, it's now in its eighth year and it's a, a fair where people can go to and learn from their favorite artists. There's all types of artists doing presentations and seminars and sharing their knowledge. And um, yeah, a few years ago, Secret Cinema uh, was there amazing artist from Holland, a techno artist. And he, uh, he said, why not make your break mono? So the same thing, you take a pencil and you take the width of the utility and you take, take it all the way down. You don't have to take it all the way. You can also take it a bit. I'll show you first how it is all the way. Curve this so it becomes more and more and more mono. And when it hits, we have the volume, the low end and the stereo coming back. So check this out. There you go. And this is a bit much, so let's take it back. So it's not too mono, but it becomes super mono at some point. Maybe the, the filter, you need to maybe tweak it a bit. You know, maybe I take a bit too much off here. Let's take it back to, to this. And then, you know, you can, uh, you can tweak it till perfection. And this really works. Drop will be way more intense, especially on the dance floor. Maybe now you don't hear it so much. But on the dance floor, it's, it's crazy. So the cool thing also is if you right click on a channel, you can say add lane for each automated envelope. So now I see all the three envelopes that I did. So I can zoom in and I can say, all right, uh, um, let's take this, this one out. And I want to take these three that I drew, uh, drew, draw, draw, drew. <laughs> I copy them and now I can actually have a look where I want to place them because here is also a break. So if I go here and I paste them, this break also gets it, you know? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, these are the three essential drop tricks. Make sure to try them out and test them out and see if they work for you. You can do it a bit, le bit less with the steer width or with the filter or with the, the game. But trust me, 3DB in the club really feels good, you know, to have this extra power. So this was it for this week, uh, the Dive in Live tutorial. I do also Dive in Live streams with artists, you know, check out this on the, on the YouTube uh, uh, channel as well. Uh, I had loads of uh, cool artists already. We do interviews for an hour, they share their screen and uh, show their production techniques. And uh, you know, if you wanna learn more, uh, follow my, uh, my platform. I've got the Modern Music Platform, uh, Lessons in Life, where I teach people from all over the world. Uh, I have a mailing list, yes, I have tutorials, uh, testimonials, uh, I've got the courses, I've got events, and the events sometimes are free, so join me for a free Ableton introduction class or a free sound design masterclass, you know. Uh, I do these to promote my full courses. I've got eight weeks courses where I teach people how to make music or where I help advanced people get back their workflow and uh, give them some mix tips, some sound design tips, you know. So you can either check out the free stuff that I do, you know, uh, or you can, um, can just uh, follow a full course. So um, yeah, make sure to get in touch. I only have eight people per class. So uh, make sure to be uh, be quickly. Um, I have um, yeah uh, time zones. I do Australia, America, Mexico, and Europe. So yeah, check it out. I hope you like what I do. And uh, last but not least, I have a Gumroad page. That's Gumroad.com/lessonsinlife, where you find free uh, preset packs, uh, free devices, and in the future you also get some sample packs. But I'm going to incorporate this in eventually on my website. But um, I need to do my best a bit more to to make that happen. So maybe later uh, I'll have a web shop as well. So for now, you can follow all the links. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you're watching this and I hope I've inspired you and good luck creating a really, really, really great drop. All right, see you next week. Bye.